good afternoon, folks. Today we're here in Pigeon Forge, and we're gonna head into the Old Mill Restaurant to grab lunch. You ready, Don? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do this. So today we're here at the Old Mill restaurant. Of course, you can hear Dawn's friends flying over, but today we're here at the Old Mill restaurant and we're gonna go in. Uh, we've been here many a times for lunch, but I don't think we ever did a video for lunch. We did dinner. I think we've done breakfast here. So we're gonna head in, we're gonna show you that. It is fall time here in the Smokies. Of course, the Old Mill restaurant is because of this over here, the original Old Mill built in 1830 and there is a lot of history here in Sevier County starting with the old mill so it doesn't look too busy today because normally it's all jam-packed through here with folks waiting to get in so maybe we'll get in right off the bat. Of course it is 11 o'clock in the morning, so be first to... Allison, are you far? Come on in, Allison. So it was immediate seating, and we're here at one of my favorite places to eat in Pigeon Forge, and that is the Old Mill Restaurant. Looks like it's still breakfast time. You can see all the ducks swimming around, and Dawn loves watching the ducks swim around. And we're here for lunch. I was a little nervous because I saw them serving breakfast down there, and I was like, oh no, we were a little bit too early. But now that I've seen the lunch menu here, Everything is all right. I absolutely love these salt and pepper shakers. You can get these over at the Old Mill Pottery Store across the road there. And um, you can take them home for yourself. And they are just super, super heavy. So we've eaten here many of times and everything is good. I've never had nothing I disliked. Uh, their, homemade, their homemade meatloaf is really good. Of course, their southern fried chicken is to die for here. They have a good country fried steak. Um, I think they're, you like their pot pie, Don? Yeah. yeah, they have a good pot pie here. When you come to the Great Smoky Mountains, you want good southern cooking. And this is a place to get that. In fact, I highly recommend uh, here for lunch or dinner. All their meals include uh, corn chowder and corn fritters and mashed potatoes and green beans. 
The windows go from the floor all the way to the ceiling and just some beautiful views so if you can get a, um, a table by the, the water uh, definitely a fun way to eat here. The service so far has been really good. I went to Hostess stand. They sat us down immediately. The waitress has been on top of it. Uh, we got our drinks all ready and, our, and everything's ready to roll. And this is a staple here. It's the corn chowder. Look at that, wow. Uh, so this here, you'll get this for lunch and dinner. It comes with every meal. And here's the corn fritters with some maple butter. And that butter is so good. Of course, Dawn has got a butter over there. And she had to go get your chowder. But look at that, wow. Looking good in the neighborhood, right? Oh boy. You're gonna go savage style on that? Folks come here just for for these. I mean they come here just for them. The outside is nice and crispy and just nice and moist on the inside. Wow, they're super warm. Very good. Now you can buy this mix down at the old mill and you can make it at home. But uh, just just amazing. You have to come here and try it for yourself. The butter is just, wow. That maple butter, that maple butter is like candy. Just, <laughs> just really good. So the soup is really, really super thick. It's got corn in there. Um, potato it looks like. Maybe a little bit of, um, Salary, really, really good. And I smell like a little bit of pepper or something in it. Mm. Mm. Wow. And that's the reason why they serve um, this with every meal, because it's that good. It's one of their signature dishes. And yet again, you can buy the mix for this. Uh, at the old mill and take it home and make it. Ooh, the corn chowder. That's good, isn't it? Now, do you do you taste the spiciness? There's a little bit of spiciness in it. There is spice. Yeah, yeah, no, but not bad. Not bad. I think there might be peppers. Yeah, I think there might be some peppers in there. That is hot. Yeah. And our meals are here. Of course, I got some mashed potatoes. Looking good in that southern style green beans. Yeah, and I got the meatloaf. Oh boy, yes. And then Dawn, she's got the mashed potatoes and green beans. You have the pot pie. Oh boy, looking good. I bet you there's a bunch of goodness on the inside of that pot pie. Get in there, let's break the top on that and see what's inside. Oh, there's the crust, looks flaky, doesn't it? And it's super hot, the steam's come rushing out of it. How's that crust? It's like a croissant type flakiness. Look at that. Got your peas. It's hot, I can see the steam rolling out of there. Some potatoes and chicken. So it's kind of more soupier. It's not like super thick, yes. but it's, um, yeah. try that filling on the inside. It's hot, yeah, it's kind of hard to, don't burn your yourself. Oh yeah, it's such a good Yeah, so you've had this before and you yeah. enjoy it. 
Uh, you, you actually you enjoy the pot pies in a lot of the restaurants in the area. It's kind of like your to go. You got, you got a pea in there. It looks like yeah, some, some chicken. Oh wow! Yeah. So Dawn's been getting that mashed potatoes. Are those homemade? Let's see if they're homemade. I think they whip them really, really good. I think they are homemade, but they're just, they whip them. Whip them. You got a little green bean on that one. A little, a little uh, stole away, all right? Now, I like these Southern style beans. They're good, yeah. So basic, your basic lunch, you got your pot pie, you got your um, mashed potatoes and your Southern style beans. You can mix, yeah, that's the way I do it. I mix them up and. He's gonna try some of my pot pie. Yeah, I wanna get a little bit of the crust here. And Tastes a like a croissant. Oh, it's super hot. Yeah, it's hot. You got blue on it. <laughs> it's good though. I'm always looking for a pup pie. <laughs> oh, wow. That is, to be honest with you, it looked like, it didn't look much when you broke into it. But it's super creamy in it. I like that. It's, it's really, it's thicker than what you think it is. Did you right? get some of the crust? We gotta yeah, get some of the crust. Here's a little bit of crust. There we go. I got a little bit of the crust. It's super hot though. Mmm. -hmm. Uh, wow, Dawn. That is good. Oh, right. So now I'm going to get into my meatloaf. And, um,. I've had it before, and it's Looks always good. Tomatoey, ketchupy. Yeah, and all of their meals here are really, really good. I'm gonna try this here. <laughs> so the ketchup or the tomato sauce on top tastes like ketchup, just the way Mom does it. That's a lot on there. <laughs> it's very sweet. The ketchup. Yeah. This is really sweet. There's a little bit of onion in there. Uh, maybe a little bit of salary. I'm trying to get closer to yeah. it. I think they, they use some of their cornmeal or their breading, you know. Um, good. Really good. Now the um, potatoes and green beans. So here's the mashed potatoes. They're super finely whipped. Um, they're not lumpy at all. So if you don't like lumpy potatoes, then this would be for you. Um, but uh, it's good, it tastes good. I don't know if they're homemade though. I mean, I imagine they are, they say they are. The difference between lunch and dinner is that you, with dinner you get a dessert that comes with it. Uh, for lunch you don't get that dessert. So that's really the difference. Um, and there's a few items on the menu that they don't serve during lunch. I was impressed by your uh, pot pie. It's really good. I'm gonna take a bite of Will's meatloaf. Yeah, let me know how you like that meatloaf, or you don't like it at that point. You can taste the onion in it and some celery. Mm. And the ketchup is super tangy. Yeah, it's tangy, it's like sweet. It's a sweet tangy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's good. It's good, it's good, it's meatloaf, yeah. We had two Cokes, Dawn had the chicken pot pie, I had the meatloaf, and our total came out to $39.83. These pecan pies are awesome. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I like the I love this mural here of when the uh, Little Pigeon River had iced over and the kids are out there playing hockey. <laughs> Just cool and you can see the the old bridge that used to be here a long time ago it is from the early 1940s. Okay, party, yeah 1940s and a lot of history here here's the old bridge used to be yeah out here by the old mill of course pigeon forge has changed quite a bit over the years so that was the old mill restaurant for lunch 
Uh, we walked in immediately. They sat us down, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the decor inside is that mountain, you know, flare. Yeah. Uh, there's not nothing crazy in there, but it, it, it's still definitely charming. Those windows down by the river are awesome if you can get one. We had a table for two. We did have a table for two. I always two. enjoy the old mill. Yes. It is a staple. Uh, you know, it's got good southern cooking. Um, so the service was really good. Our waitress had like four or five tables and she was running crazy. She did a great job at running that many tables. But there, she did forget a bunch of things. She got your soup. Uh, our drinks weren't getting filled up like they she were supposed kind of busy, to. But she was running four tables. And I noticed something there. As soon as somebody got up from a table, somebody came up, scooped it all up, wiped it down, and no less than a minute later, there was somebody else sitting there. So mm -hmm. they're turning them tables over. Also, That's we caught crazy. them. Also, we got them. We got we caught them between lunch and breakfast. So that poor waitress was serving breakfast to one table, and then here we are for lunch. Uh, but she did a great job. Um, so you ordered the... Chicken pot pie. What'd you think? I like the chicken pot pie. I always like it. It has yeah. potatoes and carrots and peas in there and that gravy and chicken. I guess the big question is, would you do it again? Yes. If you do pot pie, would you do, would you do the old mill again? Yeah, definitely. Of course, of course. Uh, I got the meatloaf. I've had it before. It was really good. Uh, now, the only difference between um, dinner and lunch is they, they give you dessert. There's a few more things on the um, on the menu that you can't get um, at lunch. And um, I think they bring out the sides kind of like a family style, I think is what they do for dinner. Uh, meatloaf is good. Beans are good. Mashed potatoes are good. Um, yes, guys, uh, definitely. Um, it is one of the top five restaurants in the area. Uh, the two top restaurants in this area, I would say, would be the Old Mill and the Applewood Farmhouse. Those are my top two in no particular order, um, but they are, they are. So I guess the question is done, we'll do it again. Yes. And um, yeah, folks, that's gonna do it for today here in Pitch and Forge. If you guys like this vlog, give it, give a, it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And if you guys can, leave a comment below. What did you think about this review? And, um, and give us a suggestion, maybe, you know, something else you would like to see. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.